All right, so this video is gonna be about Patty the Batty, Patrick Pimblett. So my question is, where do we stand with Patty? Where do the English fans in particular stand with Patty the Pimblett? These are all questions that are really interesting to me. I'm really curious to find out. So the rise of Patty the Patrick, I love the, his first name is actually Patrick, Patrick Pimblett. And I think Tony Ferguson is mentioning right now that as well. Um, so Patrick Pimblett, his rise happened in 2022. From the very beginning, he came from Cage Warriors. He had a debut and right away they put him on that fight card in the O2 Arena in London. He showed up with a bang, his style and everything, the silly haircut. Um, Patty the Pimblett, right? Boom. And then he had another fight night, also main event, later that year in uh, also O2 in London. The, the whole reception of the arena, London, it was crazy, right? Everybody loved Patty. Patty, again, was very entertaining, his fight style. And um, even though he's good on the ground, he likes to brawl. Casual fans, everybody loves to see that. Let's brawl, brawl, brawl. And, you know, exciting knockout, TKO. He almost got knocked out. But, yeah, he somehow, with that whole concept and everything, Dana White loved it. And they took him. And they started pushing him and started feeding him easy opponents to be, you know, I feel like if you're, the whole consensus of Patty the Pimblet was like, okay, he's good. But we still don't know how good he is. He wasn't really tested and he's being fed these cans and it's entertaining. But at some point, the fans at first liked it, right? They, they went along with it and then UFC's like, okay, that's our future cash cow. Then, of course, the comparisons with Conor McGregor were made, just like with any other Future star, potential future star, everybody compares them with Connor, which is unfair to everybody. I think it's a really high standard and they should be themselves and uh, don't be Connor, right? Connor is Connor is Connor. Leave that let, let him be and he's still in the game. We'll talk about it. But yeah, so Patrick Pimblett, expectations versus reality. And then at some point the they took him out of the UK. They're like, okay, you're going to fight Jared Gordon. That happened also the end of very last year in December. That's the fight where everything changed. So Jared Gordon was a definitely an up in his competition. Definitely his hardest fight so far. And he went to decision. And guess what? It was a controversial one. Patty won. But I feel like us fans, everybody thinks that it was not a win by, by Patrick. We think that Jared Gordon won that fight. At least that's my impression. I still have not rewatched the fight. I want to rewatch the fight. I'm going to rewatch that probably before December happens, before the 296 and his uh, upcoming bout with Ferguson happens. I'm going to rewatch that fight with a clear head, maybe even turn off commentary. It helps. Try turning off the commentary where you're not biased and you're just watching it point by point. See who actually wins, who win wins each individual round. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll get back to you guys on that. But I, my impression is, watching that night, watching the fight, I felt like that was a robbery. I felt like Jared Gordon won the decision. And everybody, the entire fan base, everybody was like, okay, this guy is being pushed by the company. He was handed a win, even when he lost. And everybody turned against Patty Pimblett. That was one occasion, right? Most important uh, occasion that kind of steered us off the being fans of Patty, right? And being even more doubtful in his actual MMA skills. Like, how good is actually Patty the Pimblet? But I, I don't think we have an answer to that question yet. Even with after this fight with Tony Ferguson, we're not definitely not going to get an answer to that. Because we feel now that he's being fed Tony Ferguson in a way, right? He has like, what, five, six wins in a row. Tony has six wins and a loss. This is going to be his seventh fight. So it's kind of an unfair matchup for, for Tony. But also unfair, let's be fair, let's call it it's unfair for Patty. Patty, where his whole reputation went down after that fight, and not only that, what other thing that happened, what, what had fans turn against him, is when he started that beef with, if you guys remember also, he started around that time, he started the beef with Ariel Helwani. Now, I don't know what caused that start, but he pretty much said what also we agree for the most part, but we just didn't want to hear that from Patty. He did, Patty did like his comments, something about him, and then he started talking trash about Ariel Hawani and how like, 
you know what, he does this all the time, he talks good stuff about the fighter, then he turns on the fighter behind their back and talks crap. And I think we can agree to some extent, but we were not ready to hear that from Patrick, especially Patty the Batty on a podcast with Dana White talking shit. They, they started talking trash about Ariel Hawani, and we already know that Dana has a long time beef with Ariel Hawani. So that just kind of like for us, the fans, that kind of like confirmed, okay, you're a company guy, and you're going to say and do whatever Dana White likes, whatever the UFC likes. And one of the things is bashing Ariel Hawani. So you're going to get there some brownie points there, right? That's how I I feel like the general consensus of the public online and, you know, the groups and the discussions that we're having is that, you know what, Patrick is being pushed by the organization. And he's not that good, by the way. So now my question is to the UK fans in particular England, do you guys support this guy? Now, I know also there's a whole competition between London and Liverpool, him being from Liverpool, he's a scouser, you know, uh, but then again, I saw the reception at, and the, when he was in O2 in the arena, the yeah, fans loved him. So that's why I'm kind of conflicted right now. Do the English fans is, uh, still love him at least? Is he still potentially a future cash cow for the company? I mean, does he have a still large fan base or does he have a potential of winning everybody over again? And how good is he? How good is Patrick Patty the Batty Pimblet? He definitely has some skill. You can't just show up like that and be like, oh, he's a total doofus. You know, he has some luck. He fought some cans. No, he did. He did show skill. Let's not lie. He's very he's a very good fighter, but we don't know how good he is. And unfortunately, even this year, we will not find out. How good he really is because I don't think Tony Ferguson win or lose he won't sh we won't show you know we won't see the true potential of Patty however he's still very young I think I still think there's a lot of time for him and maybe he won't be a future champion but I still think he will play an important role in the organization moving forward but yeah please let me know for all my English fans uh, all my viewers from England, let me know what you guys think about Patty. Do you like this guy still? Did you like him before? Did you stop liking him? Will you support him just for the mere fact that he's from England? Or not? And for the rest of you guys, are you looking forward to this match with Tony Ferguson? And who will you be rooting for? But I mean, okay, that's a weird question. I know that everybody will root for Tony. Uh, Tony Ferguson has the biggest fan base. He's a fan favorite. He's one of those guys, I think Tony's the only guy that is allowed to lose six times in a row and we're still going to root for Tony. Even though I'm criticizing Tony, I don't like where he's heading, what he's doing, but I'm still a Tony fan. So yeah, disregard that question. I know you guys will be rooting for Tony Ferguson, but let me know what you think about the matchup. Is it a really bad idea at this time for both of them in this, in this day and age for their careers? Uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Octa Cage MMA. I'll see you guys in the next one.